Hello, this is Yeshua said my name. I wanted to do a quick news update on the RFID microchip uh, and how that is one day, I believe, according to scripture, going to propel us to buying and selling in the future. Uh, the scripture states in Revelation 13 that he, meaning the beast system, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead. Otherwise, they may not buy and sell. This mark will also link you uh, not only to obeying um, uh, whatever the Antichrist sets in place, which I believe is the papal dynasty system, but also buying and selling, uh, holding a job, having a bank account, uh, just doing everyday living, buying and selling. Uh, the articles that I'm about to mention to you, I will put down in the description section of the video so you can click on them and research these sources yourself prayerfully. I'm reading from uh, ibttimes.com. And again, I'll put the link down there. This is in the technology section. It says here, man volunteers for onstage chip implant at MWC 2019. And this came out two weeks ago on 226 2019. And this article goes on to say, I'm going to uh, skim it for you, but it goes on to say uh, that the RFID will be the future of buying and selling. Uh, it says, according to CNBC, Edgar Pons wanted to have a radio frequency identification RFID chip implanted that would serve as his key even for entering his home. And there are news videos out there that show people putting their hand up to their car doors and entering their car doors, uh, their cars that way by simply scanning their hands. Uh, entering their homes, entering office buildings. As a matter of fact, Sweden is well underway uh, with this, not only in the workforce, but with buying and selling. There are signs and windows in Sweden stating they no longer accept cash. Uh, it goes on to say here, uh, let me see, Pons, Mr. Pons said that he likes that the chips can be easily removed. They're making a clear cut near the chip and pressing it out. The procedure will, for inserting the chip will open up a bit of his skin for the specialist to place the chip in. The one thing they won't tell you though, um, is that these chips are biocompatible. So I've heard that you can implant a microchip and it seals itself within your flesh. So that it is very difficult to remove from your body. It's not as easy as what they're telling you, in my opinion. Um, it says here, another use of implanted chip RFIDs is for payment. And this was also showcased in the MWC 2019. Mr. Powell, who already has the implant, made a payment through scanning the chip inside his skin. Sadabdel Financial Services Manager Anna Puigriol noted that this could be the future of payments. Could be. According to scripture, it will be. Uh, there's another article out here that I'll put a link down for you in the uh, description section, and it's from truenews.com. Uh, prophetically speaking, it says, um, telecoms cheer for human microchipping. Uh, it says here, prophecy related to uh, Revelation was fulfilled on the Mobile World Congress stage, February 26. Representatives of the global mainstream media and major players in the telecommunications industry are cheering the latest technological advance that seems to come straight from the pages of Revelation. No kidding. At the end of Monday's presentations at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain, the True News team attended an event that was billed by organizers as time for some biohacking. The future of the human species is here. Join us as we create a human cyborg in front of your eyes. We will implant an RFID chip into the hand of a willing subject and test its functionality. We will talk about the future of biohacking and human modification and how this will affect our lives in the long run. What the uh, What is going on with the world of biohacking? What can you do to biohack yourself? What does the future of biohacking entail? And these were in quotes from this uh um, this event that took place. Uh, the event was moderated by Sanderson Jones, a comedian and founder and CEO of Sunday Assembly, which he describes as something that is like church, but totally secular and inclusive of all. Well, no kidding. Economism is alive and well everywhere, including with the harlot daughters of Rome, all the denominations that branch out from Rome. Uh, let me see here. He says it's inclusive of all, no matter what they believed, even in essence, a church for atheists. He was joined on stage by Edgar Pons Forn, founder of NanoBoost, a company focused on neuroscience and biohacking through supplementation to improve human capabilities. Now, this is, uh, you know, um, fast, you know, if you fast forward a little bit to science fiction films where they implant what's called a neurotransceiver, uh, where people can operate their vehicles, can operate spacecraft, you name it, from for simply putting a neurotransceiver in the brain 
and then electronically thinking those thoughts to operate a piece of equipment. It's not much different than the technology we use for voice commands now when people, uh, I don't have an Alexa in my house, but there are people that do. Uh, they'll have Google Home or Alexa and they'll give voice commands. Uh, so it's, you know, we're, we're fast headed that way, guys, where everything has become digital voice command, neuro, neuroscience and technology. Um, let me see here. Uh, it goes on and on to talk about what they want to do to the human body to enhance the human body and make it better, they say, quote unquote, than what we are. And a lot of this, is, I think, goes hand in hand with the ascension message that is being given from these demonic interdimensional entities that are uh, what we call the UFO slash alien sightings, uh, this ascension of man, this apotheosis of man, uh, you know, enhance man that what God made you to be isn't good enough. We have to uh, biohack ourselves. We have to ascend. We have to become something more than what we are. Uh, and of course, this is Satan's agenda. Um, do you not know that you can be as gods? And this is what Satan appealed to in the Garden of Eden. He, you know, he appealed to man's pride. Uh, so I wanted to bring this update for you. Uh, these articles are both two weeks old, so I try and scan um, the news media for updates on uh, biohacking uh, for the latest technological advancements uh, that scripture talks about and to, to avoid in these last days, not to avoid, but to reject in these last days. Your body, if you're a born again Christian, and I say, if you are a born again Christian, is the temple of the living God. And I feel strongly, this is my opinion, you need to pray about this, that I do not want to link my body to any kind of system that would link me to the financial grid. This is my conviction in the Holy Spirit. However, each one must be persuaded, as scripture says, in his own mind by the Holy Spirit. So I thought, I thought I'd just bring this to your attention, update you on the RFID movement, these conferences that are taking place, and how they truly believe biohacking is the enhancement and hand in hand with the so-called quote unquote ascension of mankind. And of course, uh, a lot of these doctrines, this technological movement is uh, what Lucifer wants. Lucifer said in the book of Isaiah, I will be as the most high. One of the only ways he can even attempt to do that is through technology. He is not omnipotent and he is not omniscient. He needs technology to even come close. And that doesn't even do it. God is the one who fills everything is all in all and the highest heavens cannot contain him. God bless you and thank you for listening today. More to come soon, Lord willing.